They say it's made from solid gold and protected by an arsenal of deadly weapons. Okay, hold up. The president's cabinet isn't a piece of furniture, people. You've seen POTUS sitting at a table surrounded by suited advisors in the White House, right? Well, that's the president's cabinet, the executive branch of government. They're like a football team. POTUS is the head coach. The vice president is his or her assistant. There are also 15 executive department heads called secretaries. They're joined by other cabinet level members, including people like the White House chief of staff, UN ambassador, and the attorney general. It's the cabinet's job to oversee the implementation of government policies and programs and advise the president on anything relating to their departments so that POTUS is able to make the important decisions that affect all of us. Increasing NASA's budget by $6 billion over the next five years. That's something that the framers of the Constitution knew wouldn't be easy. So they established the president's cabinet in Article 2, Section 2 of the Constitution, but left the details up to future generations. George Washington, the first sitting president, kept things simple. He appointed just four cabinet members to his administration, including Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton, who really didn't get along, by the way. As the nation continued to grow, more cabinet members were added to the mix. As the head of the executive branch, the president gets to pick his team. POTUS can appoint members on any criteria. For example, there is no age limit, and cabinet members don't legally need to have any experience. All senior appointments must be approved by the Senate. But the job isn't without its dangers. When a policy or program goes wrong, cabinet members are often made the scapegoat and unceremoniously kicked off the team. And today, when the president gives the State of the Union address each March at the Capitol, one cabinet member doesn't attend, just in case the unthinkable happens, as the designated survivor would become head coach. Why do you think it is important that a president has a cabinet? <laughs>